Hey guys, Dave's here with you. That's me. And we're talking about a four-step process, an acronym. We love the acronyms on the Metacoin site. Our dog loves the acronyms on the Metacoin site. And today's acronym is also that four-step process that we go through when we look at any sort of investment idea. And we think it applies specifically to cryptocurrencies, to Bitcoin, and the movement that's taking shape in all of these other cryptocurrencies, blockchain-related technologies, tokens, and coins that you might want to look at, talk about, think about, and perhaps invest in. FLEA. F-L-E-A. That's the four-step process. That's the acronym. The F stands for fundamentals. Think about elevator speeches that you may have heard from any sort of business. There's a fundamental business process there. There's a fundamental business that the folks are trying to put together, whoever they are and whatever they're doing. This applies even more so to cryptocurrency because people don't understand it all that well. My dog might understand it, but but most of the masses don't totally don't aren't totally there yet. Really? Really? Anyways, the fundamentals if you're giving an elevator speech to somebody and say, invest in my business, you need to be able to explain very succinctly the fundamentals behind your business. Bitcoin has great fundamentals. It is an asset, a currency, that allows folks to move money back and forth, to pay each other, to process transactions, whatever it is, using computers and using the ability for computers to, to solve cryptographic puzzles in order to confirm that transactions have taken place and to be compensated for doing that. Eventually, folks get the point. Bitcoin is kind of this ethereal concept that is sort of coming to fruition. The fundamentals are there. And when you look at things like market cap, like number of, of coins circulated, uh, number of total coins possible, those sorts of things, then you're, you're applying the, the same sort of discipline that we would apply to a stock investment where you're saying, okay, well, this company has a market cap of $400 million, um, so they're not that big, and what they do is X, Y, and Z, and therefore, hmm, maybe there's a market there, maybe there isn't. That's what we mean when we say fundamentals. So that's point one. L, we told you the FLEA acronym. F is for fundamentals. L is for logic. Is there a logically sound reason behind what it is that's being launched? So we can talk about... Uh, we, one of the acronyms we love on the site is the BREAD portfolio, B-R-E-D, Bitcoin, Ripple, Ethereum, and Dash. It's done extremely well so far this year. When you talk about the other elements of that portfolio, logically, they sound like concepts that you can wrap your fingers around, wrap your arms around, wrap whatever around. If you think of Ripple, Ripple logically wants to be able to process bank Inter, interbank transfers, uh, international transfers, and those sorts of things using their token and their technology. That logically makes sense. They think they can compete with SWIFT, and logically speaking, they probably are on their way to building the infrastructure to do that. So it might make, even at what would seem to be, for especially somebody who got in early, something that could have run its course and already been over, over, I mean, the, the, the returns on, on Ripple are insane so far this year. It's, it's driven most of the gains, um, not all of them, but most of the gains from the, the bread portfolio. You might think its best days are behind it, but it still could make logical sense to invest in. But that brings us to the E, the E, B, um, L, F, L, E, A. There's also the bread portfolio, but the, the flea. F-L-E-A. The E in flea is emotion. Or you could also say endorphins. Because when you think about the fact that when, when you are 
engaging online, let's say you're on Instagram, and someone clicks the like button on one of your pictures, there's endorphins are released. You're like, wow, that's cool. Somebody likes what I'm doing. Even if they don't totally like what you're doing, even if they don't know who you are, there's that perceived emotional value to what happens. We've been talking about, we've been understanding, we've been trying to get our dog involved in, a, in an online crypto property called Steemit. S-T-E-E-M-I-T. And the token, the coin that's behind it, is something called Steam. S-T-E-E-M. What's great about Steam and why we think that it's got room to go is the emotion that's attached to something. I mean, you're actually rewarded with what's perceived to be money, what has some sort of cash or other value when you post, when you vote for someone else's post, or they vote for your post. These endorphins get released. And... That's driving more platform growth where people like me who, uh, maybe I'm not into gamification. Maybe I don't really totally want to chase down the stars at Starbucks when I get my drink or whatever. But you look at it and you say, well, wait a minute. They may be onto something and they're growing and growing and growing. It's a, it's a cryptocurrency with a market cap of $430 million right now. So there, there could be something to that, right? So, F fundamentals, L logic, E emotion, or endorphins. The A is for awareness. Are you aware of what the company is doing, what the token is doing? And is the market aware of what they're doing? And if they aren't aware of what they're doing, should they be? Should they really be aware of what's happening? One of the one of the picks that 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 we've made, and one of the cryptocurrencies that we're following that has grown considerably even over the last few weeks, as we as we tape this in early June, is something called Sia Coin. S I A Sia Coin. Its ticker is S C. And boy, if the market isn't aware of what it's doing, it will be very shortly. And it's an organization that is also pretty self-aware of, of their own role and their own potential to make something happen. I mean, they're competing with Dropbox and they're competing with Amazon Web Services. And it's crypto-enabled, the crypto technology behind cloud storage. I think it's very compelling. As of this taping, it was trading in the 600, 650 Satoshis range. And it's gone up considerably, perhaps uh, four or five times what it was at just a, a few weeks ago. And there may actually be more room for it to grow. It's got a market cap also at around $400 million. But the market may not be aware of what it's doing, may not be aware because of all of the noise attached to cryptographic technology and cryptocurrencies and the blockchain and all that. Sciacoin could sort of kind of get lost in the shuffle in all the discussion about, well, what are these coins and tokens? And folks may forget about the business possibility behind what Sciacoin is doing. Keep that in mind. So, to recap, F-L-E-A, F fundamentals, L logic, E, emotions, or endorphins that are released when you see certain things happening online when you trade or whatever. And A is awareness. Is the market aware? Should you be aware? Should the market be aware? And is the company itself aware of what it's doing and how it's perceived? Pretty simple, A. Eh? So uh, tell us what you think. Click the like button. Share this around. Visit the site Metacoin, metacoin.co. Uh, if you want to get started with cryptocurrency, take a look on the site. Use the Coinbase link, get yourself some Bitcoin, some Ethereum, some Litecoin, one of the three, and uh, make things happen. Thanks for visiting. We'll be back with another video pretty darn soon.